All settings are accessible via the project tree under the headline settings. Before, I would like to rename the device here so that we have a speaking name also for this device. If I click here on setting, then the various settings open. In the device settings, we find some general settings like the edit mode of Dixie. You have the choice between primary, secondary and percent settings. And you can easily change between them all the time during the configuration. Ziprotec 5 offers you up to 8 settings groups, which you can switch dynamically via protocol, binary input or, for example, via CFC logic. If you want to modify all the binary input thresholds of the device, you have just one setting to do so. Individually, single binary input can be set in the information routing properties. With time settings, you can synchronize the device via an external time source. If this time source should fail, it's not a problem at all. Dixie 5 provides settings for a second time source acting as a backup. So, for example, you could select IRIC B as main time source and SNTP protocol as a backup. Under the tab Power System, we find the settings for our measuring points, the currents and voltages. Let's first have a look on the currents. Here you can set primary and secondary currents of the current transformers in no time. Nothing more is necessary to convert a 1A to a 5A device and vice versa. No jumpers are needed to be adjusted, no device needed to be opened. Ziprotec 5 devices have universal current transformer inputs for 1 and 5 amp and the adaptation is done only via this one setting. But there is more. Dixie 5 offers us to recalculate all settings. This makes it absolutely easy and safe to adapt already existing settings for a 1 amp current transformer to a 5 amp current transformer and vice versa. Errors recalculating the settings is a thing of the past. Finally, settings for the various supervision functions for this measuring point can be found here, like sequence, symmetry and sum of currents. A special and new feature is the ADC sum supervision. Every I.O. module with analog inputs has two analog digital converters, cross-checking their functionality, comparing the sum of three phase currents with a measured ground current. In case a hardware failure is detected, the affected protection functions are blocked immediately in order to prevent overfunction. This hardware check is new in CProtect 5 and gives you additional security against overfunction. The fault recorder's sampling frequency has a range from 1 kHz up to 8 kHz, and in case of the dedicated Fold Recorder 7KE85, even up to 16 kHz. Up to a maximum of 128 fold records can be stored in the device and depending on the configuration, the maximum overall time for fold records can be more than 1200 seconds if you sample with a rate of 1 kHz. The function group voltage current 3 phase contains the settings for all protection functions of this function group, for example the overcurrent protection. Here you find the settings for protection coordination, definite time and inverse time stages for instance. The number of stages is not limited to what we see here. If necessary you can add additional stages with a few mouse clicks. or also delete them if not required. Clicking on the graphics icon activates a dynamic graphic of the tripping characteristic. And this not only for the overcurrent protection, but for all protection functions in their associated editor. Mm -hmm.